Welcome to another episode of Huber Syndrome. We're sitting down for this one because I am all in on Final Fantasy XIV. And who better to have than Avatar Korra, What's Michael called? Damiani. I'm so happy Huber is back into Final Fantasy XIV. Yes. Third try? Fourth try. Third, fourth, third, lost count. fourth, lost fifth. Count. Honestly, I played the beta of regular 14 before A Realm Reborn. Ooh, I go all the way back. Wow. Played A Realm Reborn, did the Marauder, got pretty far, picked it up again later. So I think this is probably the fourth time. Dang. Yeah. Um, you're just plowing through this. A little bit, little bit of a testament to how much they've uh, <laughs> they, they, they've smoothed that path. Through. But man, yeah. you're, you're like a machine right now. When I <laughs> messages all hours, like when I go in on an MMO, because because if you if you know me, if you follow me, MMOs, I love. I sample. I try to sample every MMO over the course of my life. I have played twenty five MMOs. Jeez. Honestly, twenty twenty five. No joke. Now, I've only hit level cap okay. in, like, three or four. Star Wars Galaxies, uh, you know, WoW, obviously. Um, City of Villains, I played oh. a shitload of that. Dayok back in the day, I had a buddy Jeez. who used to stand on a bridge and, like, not let people pass. <laughs> <laughs> and just, like, tro like, early trolling. Early trolls. But Final Fantasy XIV, Damiani, is having a resurgence now. And that magic has definitely helped me commit. Because 14 and MMOs in general are a time sink. Oh, Matrix Online, I almost hit level count. Okay. <laughs> really far enough. Dang. Out. Because MMOs are such a time sink. So for me, as someone who likes to play so many different video games and likes to finish video games that I start, I always just see like a list, Damiani, and on one side you have Final Fantasy XIV, and on the <laughs> other side you have like 25 or 35 other games that you can play. So I, I had to make that decision, and now I have, and no regrets. So No regrets. I don't know the best way to put it. <laughs> it's Yes, it's a time sink, but there's two factors to that. Yeah. You can still play 14 or any... I, I don't know about ever any other MMO, but at least you can play 14 at your own pace. Yeah. The content's not necessarily going anywhere. There is some stuff, but like the, the meat of it, especially the story that so many people want you to experience... Yeah. Taking my time anywhere. with that. And the way it's structured, uh, I've seen some other content creators who've jumped into 14 put it this way, is that like it, it, it feels like it is more a traditional Final Fantasy RPG first and foremost than like a traditional MMO. Yeah. And that you can really stay focused on your own time without relying on other people for majority of the main story quests. Absolutely. And then it's very low stakes for any of the content that requires you to join in with other players for the main story quest. Yeah. And that facility facilitates it feeling almost like as close to a single player really traditional RPG as possible. It really does. And I think people just get overwhelmed when they see the word MMO on there. So yeah. that, that's the thing. The other thing is on the flip side, most other games aren't going anywhere either. Yeah. So like the, the whole thing with FOMO, it's like, oh, there's a brand new game that just came out. Oh, it's a single player game or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can play that anytime, yeah. but like a new content, major content patch dropped for 14, if you want to get in on like where everyone's excited about it and want to like actually see what it's about, you just like play that for a little bit and then you go back to whatever else you yeah. were playing. In fact, Naoki Yoshida, producer director, has even said on record, yeah. like, we don't intend for you to say like play this game forever, like not, like every day. Like it's meant to, it's designed for you to play yeah. however much you want, and then we want you to go play other games because they don't yeah. want you to get burned out. Yeah, I mean it's good, it's That's their business smart. thing. Good. They still want you to stay sub. They never yeah. say don't unsub. Stay but sub, please. They still want. They, they have some sh questionable practices, yeah. uh, especially regarding housing <laughs> and like you need to stay sub to keep your house. But other than that, they want you to enjoy other games and stuff. They yeah. recognize this is not going to be the only game that everyone plays. Yeah. So I, I, I get it though. Without knowing that and really believing, seeing is believing. Yeah, it's like, man, how like how many expansions are out now, and each one takes how long? And it's like, dude, what? Like, yeah. how many hours am I going to commit to this? Yeah. No way. And especially, you know, because got my wife, got movies, TV shows. I, I watch a lot of movies and TV. So this 
as just a, a neither here nor there, not a pro, not a con, just an observation, a statement. I've given my whole life to this game right now to catch up, honestly. I'm not sleeping as much. I'm putting my wife to bed some nights. <laughs> Staying up late till the crack of dawn. It is unhealthy, but I'm having a good freaking time, well, Kamiyani. The good news is- and, and like Brad said, it's and, and like other MMOs, catching up. Once you hit level cap and once you're caught up, yes. you don't have to do it, that exactly. seemingly never ending exactly. grind. Literally what I was just gonna say, yeah. man, is that like it, there is yeah. a, a light at the end of the tunnel for yeah. this. Yeah. Once you catch up, yeah. it slows down. Yeah. I mean there, it's still there's still a million things to do, but like you don't have to do all this stuff. In terms yeah. of just like playing relevant stuff with everybody, it, it's right there. <laughs> and, and it does not require that time because when you're catching up, it's like endless. It feels yeah. endless, but yeah. you will hit that point where <laughs> it it's like there is no more content. Like mm. uh, story content, like you hit, you're, yeah, you're caught I'm up. Good. You get to wait for three wait months. Till, exactly. You have three months now. You have a three month break. Go totally. do other stuff. So, yeah, it's a different mindset. I get yep. that. Like a lot of people ra racing to catch up. Yeah. But again, there is enough there. Like, you don't have to necessarily kill yourself exactly there, there exactly is, you know, i got some time for you, got till november. you got till november so i was just going super hard on vanilla mm -hmm. a realm reborn that, which i'm very close to finishing now damiani and some of these story beats are hitting there's been some ups and downs yeah oh yeah you know the the banquet one <laughs> you know you're going around getting wine getting food for all these different people the payoff there was great some minor spoilers for 14, uh, but the payoff there was great about how they were testing you, testing your resolve, which I really loved. Some of the side stories I've really gotten into, dude, of like, this pack of wolves killed this woman's husband. Oh, yeah. So she wants adventurers to always go out every year and like slay the wolves for vengeance. <laughs> Just like a little side story. I love getting into those stories, dude, and like, one of the main stories that I just did that hit hard was the Inquisitor. This yes. like imposter Inquisitor that is throwing people to their deaths, accusing people of being sketch, taking people out, uh, the way that all played out. And then of course the one I'm on now is like the jailbreak. So it's all been building up to like some pretty dramatic story beats uh with some good ones along the way you know fighting ifrit the the titans and and the, or the primals the titan uh just how the the empire is like ultimate weapon dude <laughs> just like sucking up the freaking titan or the the primals like naruto dude it's like the, the, the ten tail beast i was like all right here we go <laughs> So I'm loving I all that. like that part. <laughs> um, and then just minor things, Damiani. Some differences from other MMOs that I noticed that I actually really appreciate. The lack of picking up trash. Mm. Shout out, Final Fantasy XIV. By the time I hit level like 3540, I think to myself, my inventory has never been filled up. I never have anything in my inventory. I never am picking up just junk after junk after junk and having to go back to town and sell it all and then like killing a bunch of mobs, picking things up. It's like there's a lack of trash that you're picking up, Damiani. You're, you seem like I, I'm getting the sense that that's about to change maybe. So or you're enjoying the, the fruits of the, the, the laborious efforts of very vocal fans for many, many years. Who complained about inventory space? Oh! So here's the thing: um, they've expanded inventory space, yeah. so you have much more. And yeah. there's going to be another expansion of inventory yeah. stuff because they're deleting belts and they're going to increase yeah. some of your armory armory slots. Yeah. However, the thing is, uh, when you start trying to do multiple jobs and all crafters and gatherers, mm -hmm. it kind of goes to hell. That's been the hardest but. thing to turn down, is because I'm a sucker for for professions, and it's been. Like one time I had to stand up and say, I'm not even kidding. I stood up in my chair and said, no, 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 leave, 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 <laughs> leave, leave. I had to say it out loud to leave the culinary place because I was getting sucked into cooking. And I'm like, I can't do this. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh, that, that, yeah, that you could lose a lot of time in that. Um, there, there's a lot to it as well, but yeah, that, that's the thing. I think it's better right now to stay 
focused, focused on that. That that stuff is there to always go back to. Should like when you catch up and it's like, man, I want to try this out, and like yeah. you know, it's three months between a patch and like none of the other stuff that's available interests you. Yeah. It's like, yo, I want to go try cooking now. I'm gonna go try doing crafting, and it's yeah. a whole different thing. Or gather, you know, the professions and, yeah. and, and try that out. Same with other jobs. But uh, just the, the laugh was because, A, the, if you try and do everything at some yeah. point, inventory is a constant struggle When with you them. start crafting. If it's not trash. Yeah. It's yeah. just that everything requires so many things to be yeah. held on you. Yeah. They, they've given you, like, you get a chocobo satchel as well that mm -hmm. you can do. You get your own retainers that can storage. Yeah. If you join, like, the FC. The, the, there's a whole bunch. Of, they keep constantly are adding stuff to help you solve of the the ever increasing problem of like nice. inventory like uh, yeah yeah clutter. yeah because not doing professions I I was just blown away like when a monster mm -hmm. dies I I'm not like leaning down and picking something up every single time like that is smart that is good that's been so nice yeah um that's, that's good really enjoying fates you know uh not essential especially because I'm like just power leveling. But sometimes, you know, I'll see some action. I'll see some other players in a fate, and I'll just, I'll join in, you know? Just that sense of community. Um, I love walking the streets of, like, Mordona. Mor Mordona? Is that, like, in the north kind of area? That's the one where you've been going back at this point to get yep. most of your main story okay. quests. So I loved going there during prime time, and it was just popping, popping off. And then I went there late at night, and it was a little more deserted. You know, a couple people kind of, kind of going around their business, like two in the morning at that point, and just getting that sense of life and community that I just love with MMOs, Damiani. I just always log out in my bed every time at the Adventurers Guild, the, uh, in old, uh, yeah, the, uh, the <laughs> freaking like cozy place, dude, that you start at in Ulda, right there. One of my favorite places to go to every night, just logging out in bed, <laughs> feeling good. Um, but next, and one of the main things I want to talk about, Damiani, dungeons. Oh. Dungeons. First up, shout out to Brad Ellis. Ch uh, Don, roll the roll the uh, training video, if you will, please. Training, <laughs> training arc in the woods, Brad and myself, apprentice and master. Such good vibes, because I was a monk until 50, and then I was switching over to Samurai, so I'm Samurai now. So uh, shout out to the training arc with Brad. We did that. But the majority of my time with you has been dungeons. And that's always my favorite thing about MMOs is dungeons, is working up your level, your your gear, whatever it may be, getting there in the story, if it's, if it's a plot-related one, putting in the effort, putting in the work, going into the dungeon with other real people and tackling it together. It's one of my favorite things in all of video games, Damiani, are MMO dungeons. And that, that sense, that bond, that sense of community doing it together. And obviously the rewards that entail the late game dungeons and raids. Um, so I've just been really enjoying that with you, man. So thank you. You yeah. know, we have the Easy Allies Guild. There's been a couple other allies that have jumped in there. Spite something or other. Ariana something. I don't know the first and last names, but Spite and Ariana have been joining us. And it's just been awesome. It's just been good. It's 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 inter it's interesting because I don't think there's a true way for you to experience them how they were. Mm -hmm. um, on a even on a visual standpoint, sometimes when it's just you and me queuing in with randoms, you yeah. notice how they rush ahead because oh yeah, because that's speed kinda, running. They're speed running. They're all like the, because they assume unless you unless you speak up. The thing mm -hmm. is, we didn't say anything because I, I also I don't. Because I didn't necessarily want them to like, you know, I, I felt like you could keep up and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But like, you're also not being able, you're not even able to take so in the sights yeah. and sounds. Yeah. And I remember trying to point out, we did uh, your first 50 dungeon. Yes. Even though you're not finished with the story yet. Tonberry. Wanderer's Palace. Yeah. And I wanted you to see the, the Tonberry stalker yeah. in each leg of the dungeon. A stalker starts chasing you very yeah. slowly. Yeah. But because you plow through everything so easily now, yeah. It, yeah. you don't ever see it anymore. Because the OG days of it, I was t telling Huber, you used to you couldn't do the some people try and do the big pulls, but it was hard for a lot of people to do that. So you did each yeah. small group one at a time. Tom Berry Stalker would be right there catching up to you, sometimes attacking you as you're trying to finish. Like, hurry, kill them, kill them. So we gotta high. move on. We gotta move on. He does like half your damage Throat with each stab. stab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, there, there's you will start to see that element 
as you catch up and you and you have to play dungeons as they were meant to be played. So I'm yes. very excited for you Love to it. get to some of the like more recent dungeons because they it, you'll have that more traditional experience. But it's nice that you're speaking so like fondly yeah. of the OG dungeons because right now they're probably the most simplistic in design. Yeah, they seem pretty simple. There was one where we had to uh, drop the brick face on the, you have to kill it and it lands on the squares and they open the doors. Do you the, remember that one? We, we, which There's one? like these big square faces and they attack you. Oh, oh, oh Sunken yeah, Temple, yeah, yeah. Sunken Temple of Karn, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. We wiped a couple times because we were with a beginner group. All of us were beginners. Oh, yeah, you did this one on your own. Yeah. yeah. I've done some on my own. Yeah. You know, hey, 4 a.m., some people are sleeping, you know? Yeah. So I just had to solo sleeping, queue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I really like that. Like, I, I did one with all newbies, and I got that vibe and that sense of, like, discovery. You have to put the masks on the right pedestals or whatever, and if you do the wrong one, like, mobs will attack. Yep. Really like an Indian, it's like a Tomb Raider dungeon. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, I'm just having a damn good time, and we're still in vanilla. And the only thing I've ever heard is that it just gets better and better and better as you go. So, I'm just looking forward to it. And I just wanted to do this check in because this is basically the beginning of my journey. I mean, I started a week ago, a week, ago, a week and a half ago. I'm 50, like three now. Yeah. It has slowed down considerably. Once you hit 50, it starts dropping. It will start. Picking up again. Once I get to once Heaven's you, Ward, you, I feel like. Especially once you get to Heaven's Ward, yeah. because the experience scales, especially during the patches, uh, yeah, it starts scaling yeah. really poorly at that point. Because 50 is the cap in this stuff. Was the original cap. Was the original Roma cap. Yeah. So it's like weird that I'm going past it level wise, but the XP. You'll probably is, end yeah. up around like level 55, I think, by the time you start Heaven's Ward with the, where you're at. But like yeah. being five levels into like a 10 level increase at that point, you're already halfway through the level cap for yeah. Heaven's Ward. Yeah. Like you're gonna like, it's you're gonna be so above everything that yeah. like that that will not be a problem for you. You'll never hit a gate, anything like that. Yeah. And you know, they'll still level sink you down when you do any of the content you're supposed to do so you're not too overpowered. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, to kind of close and to reiterate what Damiani was saying, um, this really does feel like a single player RPG Final Fantasy game, really. You really don't have to engage with other humans all that often. The only time you really need to do is when it's a mandatory story dungeon, which there have not been a lot of, uh, and it's totally fine to go in and not say a word. Queue up, don't say a word, maybe throw a little GG at the end. Mm -hmm. um, so if playing with other people freaks you out, just know that, uh, and the Easy Allies Guild is wide open. So there's really no better time to hop into Final Fantasy XIV than right now, this zeitgeist. I mean, it is electric in there, Damiani. Does the music change when it's later at night? Yes. Yeah. They have daytime and nighttime themes. Dude, the, the like, Wherever, like two going, a, yeah. the 2 a.m. Ulda, <laughs> I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean the cozy vibes. Ah, oh. and you're just you're just in like the beginning stuff. So the, yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff was held over from OG. Some was like touched up. Still yeah. great stuff, but like that was when it was a mixture of like three or four. As Umatsu, yeah. Soken, few uh, two other composers contributed. I mean maybe three other composers contributed to a bunch of the soundtrack for for the OG game. But yeah. once you get in, once you get into Heaven's Ward, you're gonna start to see it becomes Sokin's the primary composer. Yeah. You're gonna start to see people like the variety, the craziness they do with yeah. the soundtrack. I'm very, very excited to hear because right now, well it's I still think Around Born soundtrack is really good. It's yeah. like probably the safest Thanalin, the safe, Thanalin song it's the I love safest music they've they've done, I think. The battle music Gets me going. Gets me jazzed up. Torn from the heavens. I will yeah. say I'm a little bummed because I re-rolled. I played a Marauder back in the day. I didn't want to do it again. Every time someone runs by me with an axe, I'm jealous. <laughs> because Final Fantasy XIV does have some of the best axes in the business. So yeah, I'm a little bummed out. You know, I didn't want to do the whole thing over. I wanted a fresh, clean, new start. Samurai's cool, except the, the opening move, like Higesaki or whatever, makes a really annoying noise. So let me know in the comments if you can like patch that <laughs> or if you too think it's annoying because it's just a, it's a never ending. You can turn down the sound effects, I you know. did, but it turns down all of my moves. Oh, uh, you want that off. Yeah, so it's. Um, 
just <laughs> a, oh wait, I don't think you have it's it. you over it and over wait. and over again. I almost like switch classes again, but I was like, I, I can't. I gotta just keep going. Just gotta learn about Madari. Madari, what is Madari? It's the wind up one. It's like it has a cast bar. It looks like oh, you like this you shit? go like zzz, and like oh, it looks like so snow sick. ice is it's around so you. Sick, yeah, that's dude. so satisfying. It's so fun. <laughs> that's uh, the, that's but, the best thing. But easy, Alex. We're recruiting. If you're worried about other people. We've got you. Jump in. Now's the time. We got months till Endwalker. You know, they've got cool level boosting gear up until then. And uh, we're a very active guild. And uh, this is not the last time you will see Final Fantasy XIV before the year is out on Huber Syndrome. Damiani, thank you for pushing me to do this game. Your hype is infectious with it. I mean, is this one of your favorite games of all time? I mean, yeah. Is it your number one now? It might be like it's interesting because like, it goes in waves <laughs> um, with, with like how like passionate like their points. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, I feel like a downtime. I, I, I guess this is maybe uh, how long I've committed to playing this. Yeah, it's I feel like I've had to trade off <laughs> my passion and knowledge and enthusiasm for the Legend of Zelda series <laughs> for this. Yeah, I, I, I feel like this has surpassed it to the point where it's like. Honestly, I, like there's like times I'm like I don't remember some shit about Zelda shit anymore. It's yeah. like I used to know all this, but it's like for like boom, let's go for T shit. Let's what you go. Need to know? It's like I mean because it's like, what's active now and stuff. I don't yeah. know. Like me, I'm spending all that like yeah. time anyway. Point is, uh, I feel like I'm too close to it to like you know like say that. I, uh, the most comfortable I can say is like it's like my favorite game. Yeah. And I never want to force it on anyone. It's like I, under, I always understood how much of a time sink it was. It's it is. Like, it's taking my life. So wanna, if you're going to play, know that. I always, <laughs> only want people to maybe sample it for a little bit. But the problem was A Realm Reborn was always the weakest link. So it was like, wasn't always the best sampler. Mm -hmm. But hearing you and then on Ben's stream, Ben saying like things like, I could probably just play this. Like It was nice to hear other people I like so close to and trust. Share even if they weren't totally 100% true about it. Share that even that sense of that feeling. It's like, yeah. okay, other people feel this. I was like, yeah. good. I was like, I'm not crazy, am I? No. And I was like, yeah. It's like good. It's not like yeah. it's a weird thing, right? It's, <laughs> so it's good. in my head that it's so popular, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, it finally has clicked, Damiani. You know, some games take longer to click, and uh, you know, MMOs especially. Like this time feels different. It feels better. I feel more grounded in the world i feel more invested in the storylines i'm so invested in the villains now i'm learning more about dude, dude, and, dude. and the heroes like the ragtag group of heroes i'm super into what sid wegs i, I wegs, feel like weg, you're gonna wedge and bigs. <laughs> i feel like the last thing i want to say as we wrap it up i feel like if you make it to the end of Shadowbringers or to end of endwalker which if like if you don't get there in time but you like yeah. catch up to it I feel like the structure of how the game is once you're caught up, yeah, it's like it's like battle pass. Not not totally. it's like it like has that dangling you do your carrot, and I think that's gonna be perfect for you because like it's so conducive to playing other shit at that yeah. point. Yeah. So like you will go play your other games. Like hey, I just need it. I need like thirty minutes. I need like thirty minutes, maybe an hour with this <laughs> game today, and like maybe twice a week or something. Like there it is. I put my two or three hours into this game for this week. I'm done. Like move on. Like I'll yeah. see you next week. It's like. That is all it will take to keep caught up. And then, like, all you got to do is the deep dive every three, three and a half months. It's like yeah. you got to put in, like, maybe, like, five, the six hours patches. in a week for that, like, story catch up. And then yeah. there's a bunch of other stuff. But I, I like I like that about it. You, it, it seems cons like it consumes you at the catch up yeah. part. Only because it's years worth of content It's like for when me, stuff yeah. is new, it feels like that. But yeah. once you're in that lull period in between, it's like yeah. you can like, walk away. It's like the nicest yeah. feeling because, like, I hear so many stories about old wow and stuff of people i mean camping for days for shit i'm like what or final fantasy 11 shit it's like yeah. what I, like that sounds insane and like that's not really what this game goes for and, and, and anything like that and i really appreciate it yeah. some exceptions s apologies and empathies to everyone who tries to get houses right now i understand it's exactly what i'm describing yeah. it should but be like new world they do houses so well yeah otherwise <laughs> it's like you don't have to deal with that insanity yeah. it doesn't have to be your life i wish so nice honestly that would be the icing on the cake is having my own little house somewhere to really have that final stamp of living in this world so right now i'm just rping staying at the inn which is cool because you know I do get that kind of story vibe. You know you can have your own room in the FC house, right? Yeah, but it feels like a frat house, and it gives me anxiety. Like, the, like the easy allies, 
What about Guild the house? What about the apartments in the each zone? Each the housing zone has an apartment complex. It has a lobby. You have to take me there. It's like condo style. You go to a lobby. You have and, to take me yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to give go. me the guided tour. <laughs> I went to the Easy Allies Free Company oh, building, yeah. and it's... it was like, yo, <laughs> this is a fraternity. This is like a dorm room. I, I no, I one time I tried yeah. to revert. I tried to I'm revert like, it back to. Yeah. I did like a nice like. Uh, they they had a bunch of like Eastern tree, Far East like theme. And I went with that for the outdoors. It was nice and clean and simple. Yeah. Like two weeks away, I came back. It was like back to all yeah. the random like it's thing. It's chaos. I was like, it's chaos. All right. I, want, I, I was like, I want once. I'm like, I'm never coming back here. <laughs> They're like, they want chaos here. I was like, all right. It's like, yeah. gotta let the, the, the FC do what they want to do. But yeah. whatever. <laughs> all right, Damiani. Thanks so much for talking about Final Fantasy XIV with me, man. It's been a blast. Um, I will check in. At some point, I mean, the way I'm going, you know, probably a month or two, maybe right before Endwalker, we'll mm. do a check-in. Hopefully, I finish Stormblood by then. We'll do one uh, check-in, and then we'll, it'll be uh, Endwalker from then on. One of the most anticipated things of the year. Endwalker. Oof. Thanks so much, allies. Love and respect. If you're interested in about 14, we're here with open arms. And uh, if you like what you saw, help us out on Patreon, YouTube, Twitch, all that good stuff. Like and subscribe. Um, until next time, love and respect. Peace.